Hello and welcome to the One Life Church devotional series where we cover the entire Bible in 20 months. Well, today's chapters are Jeremiah 15 and Revelation chapter 19. Now in Jeremiah 15, the Lord says to Jeremiah, Even if Moses and Samuel were to stand here before me, my heart would not go out to this people, send them away. They keep backsliding. Their wealth and treasures I will give as plunder to those who are their enemies and their enemies will enslave them. And you can see Jeremiah pleading with God and saying, surely there's a bit of respite. And then eventually when he realizes it's not going to work, he says, well, please remember me. And then he says, look, I've even eaten the scroll you asked me to eat. And then uh, and he says, look, I've, I've suffered reproach for you and I've been persecuted for you. And so God says to him, therefore, the Lord says, if you repent, I'll restore you that you may serve me. So Jeremiah himself gets a reprieve. But now we move to Revelation 19. Now, Revelation 19 describes the return of Jesus for two reasons, to fetch his bride and to judge. And so the return of Jesus is a doctrine that the early church and all of us who are Christians hold dearly to. 1 Thessalonians 4 says, For the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a loud command, with the voice of the archangel, with the trumpet call of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. After that, we are still alive and are left. will be caught up together with him in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will be with the Lord forever. It's a fundamental doctrine of the Christian faith that Jesus is coming back. Now, in this chapter, it describes his return in the, in the form of two suppers. The first supper is the wedding supper of the Lamb, where we attend as the bride. And the second supper is the final judgment. It's the great supper of God. God and the unsaved and those who who defied God come as the meal, actually, as as the meat for the birds of the air. So this is picture language, remember, describing the coming of Jesus to fetch his bride and to judge the world. So verse one of chapter 19 says, after this, I heard what sounded like a roar of a great multitude in heaven shouting hallelujah. And then this, it starts with massive singing. And you ask, why are they singing? Verse 3 says, and again they shouted, hallelujah. Because smoke from her goes up forever and ever. Smoke from who? Smoke from the great prostitute. Remember, this is the picture of the false religion, the false ideologies, the, the apostate prostitute who's trying to make the bride run around like a prostitute. And so there's great celebration. I mean, how many women... If they caught a woman trying to seduce their husband and then heard that that woman was getting put away, sent to another land, would rejoice. They'll throw a party, wouldn't they? And that's exactly the, the tone here. This prostitute, this counterfeit is being sorted out and there's a great rejoicing in heaven because now they're waiting. Let us rejoice and be glad and give him glory for the wedding of the lamb has come and the bride has made herself ready. Now, how has the bride made herself ready? With fine linen, bright and clean, which was given to her to wear. And this stands for the righteousness of the saints. Now, obviously, we are given the righteousness of Christ. We've been readied for an encounter with Jesus. At this point, John bows down to worship this angel messenger. And the angel messenger says, uh, don't do it. I'm a fellow servant just like you. Then we pause. Okay, so Jesus is about to come. The bride has made herself ready. It's about to see the return of Jesus. And then he looks up and he sees heaven open. And there before me was a white horse whose rider was faithful and true. And so now Jesus is depicted as being on this horse, this massive horse. It's, it's symbolic, like just before the wedding, he's coming as a warrior with warrior eyes. We're going to see him looking with the eyes of a dove at the wedding banquet. But before that, he comes as a warrior. And this is describing the second supper. His eyes are like blazing fire. On his head are many crowns. Remember, this is picture language. He has a name written on him that no one understands. He's dressed in a robe, dripped in blood. And his name is the word of God. The armies of heaven are following him, riding white horses, dressed in fine and white and clean. Great difference in the picture isn't there the head of the army is filthy with the blood of judgment and those behind we not to judge we coming behind him and uh, th those are, who've died in Christ out of his mouth comes a sharp sword to strike down the nations and verse 19 says he treads the winepress of the fury of the wrath of God 
and on his robe and on his thigh are written King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And I saw an angel standing on the sun who cried with a loud voice to all the birds flying around in the air. If you look carefully on my property here, you'll see birds of prey and the mid air to come for the great supper of God. This is very graphic language of a judgment of the enemies of God. Two pictures of two suppers, a wedding banquet where we come as the bride and then this fearful judgment that's coming on those who've um, turned their back on God. And so that's chapter 19.